few weeks ago, I kicked off a challenge to start a brand new print on demand store and go from $0 in sales to seven figures in sales in under 12 months. In the first two episodes, I broke down how things went in week one and two. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing our results from week three, as well as giving you a glimpse of what our site looks like, what our profit and loss statement was for this past week. And before we jump in and I show you our sales and break down the numbers for you, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoy this kind of content and want me to continue this challenge so you can follow along and watch the process as we grow from zero to seven figures. So just to recap quickly, in the first week we did $3,200 in sales. In the second week, we did $5,100 in sales. And then, and our sales for week three were $6,100. We started off the week doing $750 in sales on the 15th. We dipped down pretty low to only $245 in sales. Let's take a look at what happened on that date. Our conversion rate plummeted and we had some issues with the site where people weren't able to check out. Luckily, we were able to pretty quickly identify that by looking at our add to cart rate, stayed pretty similar, reach checkout was about the same, down a little bit, but our sessions converted was down 67%. So anytime the sessions converted drops by that much, we're able to pretty conclusively say that there's something wrong at the checkout page level, which is normally just your shipping prices or the payment processing that you offer. So once we fix that, the sales jumped back up on the 17th to $808. Then we did our first $1,000 day on July 18th, which was pretty exciting. And I think that was at about a 22% margins. So we did about $220 in profit in one day, which is pretty cool. Then next day, 847, 831, and then topped off the week by doing $1,500 in sales on July 21st, which is a Friday. Now I've been getting a lot of comments in the comment section on the previous videos asking, how is it that you're growing store so quickly and to show you what i'm doing i put together this mirror board which basically breaks down each of the six steps and you can get this guide completely for free just by going to chrishackman.org backslash miro i'm not going to go into too much detail but at a high level what it really comes down to is your site optimization we have a high converting shopify store that i'm going to share with you in a second the second is our email and sms so we're not just driving ads from Facebook to the site and then hoping for the best. We have email automations and flows set up. It's all about plugging the leaky bucket, basically. We don't wanna be driving traffic into that funnel until we know that we're getting all of the possible sales out of that. If you're driving traffic and don't have email automation, retargeting ads, SMS, then you're just leaving a ton of money on the table. Next piece is our marketing assets, which this is something that a lot of people overlook and just sit down to run ads with three pictures and they chuck it up in a campaign and when they lose 20 bucks they say oh facebook ads don't work that's because they haven't gone through this kind of process they haven't taken the time to gather 20 to 30 creatives and then figure out who their audience is structure the campaigns come up with their ad copy and do all of that before they even set up their campaign testing and our goal, I wrote here, our goal at this point is to be able to spend $1 and make 2 to $3 back. Which when we had our first week, we did $3,200 at about a three return. I saw that we were at very low spend, but we had the ability to put in $1 and get about $3 back. Next thing that we do is we do our campaign setup and testing. So the way we set up our campaigns and test them is in a low budget ad structure that allows us to test a lot of ad creatives and a lot of ad copy at a very low budget. And I've outlined exactly how we do this and our overall campaign structure and strategy in this seven page SOP guide that includes everything from how we structure the campaigns, example, ad copy, to what the creative should look like. So there's everything you can need in there. It's pretty dense, but let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. And then we move on to the analysis phase. So the analysis is really important to figure out, okay, we launched 25 creatives, 25 ads, 
Now, what was working best and what can we learn from this? And the question I get most often is, what do I do when my ads are not working? It comes down to if your ads aren't working, okay, why aren't they working? What does that mean? What is not working about them? Okay, your ads aren't working. What isn't working? Is it your cost per click is too high? Is it your CPMs are too high? Is it that your click through rate is too low? Like identifying the specific break, or is it that you're getting really cheap traffic? It's just that when people get to your website, they're not buying for whatever reason. I added this section here as troubleshooting guide. So you can see if you have high cost per clicks, if you have high CPMs, the solution is to test new creatives, make more engaging ads. And if you have low click through rate, low add to cart, low initiate checkout, like this section down here, I've included some benchmark stats for print on demand store. These completely vary based on your niche and your pricing, but in general, these are good rules of thumb. Once we've gotten through that whole process, that brings us to our second goal of how do we spend a million dollars to make two to three million dollars back. So there's a couple of different ways that we can do this. And the name of the game is maintaining stable performance as we scale up our ads. The two main ways to do this are one with horizontal scale and two with a vertical scale. So horizontal scale just means making more campaigns, more ads, more ammunition for your ad account. And then vertical scale is simply you have your base of ads. How do we increase the budgets in a strategic way that does not cause them to flip because you can't just take a winning ad set that's spending $25 a day and make it spend $2,500 and be a complete waste of money. But what you can do is do small increases, bump it by 10% or 15% and do that two to three times a week, which may not sound like a lot, but it compounds extremely quickly. And that's what we've been doing and why we've been seeing this consistent growth week over week is because I've been doing exactly that. I've only been increasing our budgets by 10 to 15% every two to three days. And that gives us a really nice consistent rise. As long as the things are working, just 10 to 15%, we don't have to get greedy and try to jump to 30, 40% increases because that's when you start to run into issues. Lastly, I promised to show you an example of what the store looks like. So this is not the exact brand, obviously. We would have a million ripoffs up overnight if I shared the exact brand and URL. But this is an example, a store that I built that is pretty much to the T how our store looks. It's just a really simple layout with our t-shirts on a flat mock-up and the pricing and add to cart button. And then on our product pages, it's again, extremely simple. We just have a couple of mock-up pictures, drop downs here for people to look at with some more product information and then an add to cart button and then down towards the bottom, recommended products that people also bought. But the reason this works so well is that it converts extremely well because it's we're targeting people on social media who have scatterbrained. So if we sent them to a website that has like tons of details and like extra stuff that it doesn't really need, our conversion rate will be a lot lower. This is what the store looks like in general. And if you wanna see a much more detailed breakdown, I'll link to the video where I give you the 365 step checklist. I literally walk you through exactly how to build this store you're seeing here and down to the colors and the hex codes and where to position everything, what fonts to use, all of that kind of good stuff. So be sure to watch that video if you wanna set up your own Shopify store. But I hope this video has been helpful for you guys and be sure to like and subscribe to see our next week update where I'm going to break down everything that happened in the month of July and if we're on track for hitting our goal of a million dollars in 12 months. There are a couple tweaks and things we can start to try to really ramp things up a little bit. Be sure to stay tuned for that and as always if you have any questions or there's anything I can help you with feel free to let me know in the comment section and please be sure to share what things you want me to share about the business that'll be helpful for you. Is it the ads, the site, the choosing the products, the niche? Just let me know down below and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.